Hey there, I just got back from the uh, fourth day for, for the uh, film festival uh, after watching uh, Under Majesty's Secret Service and uh, Thunderball. Uh, both great films. Thunderball is one of the weaker films in the Bond, uh, the original Bond uh, films. It was cool to see uh, all the underwater work done by Rico Browning, of course, who is a creature from the Black Lagoon. So, <clears throat> that was really cool. But, but Under Majesty's Secret Service stands up a lot more than I had a uh, remembered before and he's actually a really good Bond and I'm not sure if I was just so used to Sean Connery at the time or I was younger and I didn't even though I always liked the story on Marriage's Secret Service but I was never sure about Lazenby and this time on the big screen Lazenby performed and uh, I gotta say Talia Savalas not so much but Lazenby definitely did but uh, that's not why I'm here today I'm here to uh, introduce what I'm about to start in my uh, next video <clears throat> and uh, I've gathered all my Screen Factory uh, Blu-rays, DVDs, and we're going to go through them, look through them in, a, in the next couple of videos. And uh, we, since I've done my Screen Factory overviews before, I, well, as you know, if you've been watching my videos, I recently got about three or four new ones. I got uh, some other stuff that I'm going to say, and we're not just going to talk about uh, Screen Factories. I'm going to talk to you about Screen Factories, and we're going to talk to you about what it is that uh, made the 80s so important for uh, for horror films and uh, let's dwell on that a little bit but first uh, this is an introduction video just saying I had a really great time at the uh, film festival I'm going to see Brazil tomorrow so uh, I'm prepared to have my mind blown there right now while this video uploads and I get my screen factories ready for the next uh, video which is coming on right after this one goes up it's time for tea